Hey everyone, big news last week was Bitcoin rising above 62,000. It's pulled back a little bit since as I record this on Sunday morning, but it's still holding over 60,000 per coin. This is a quote via coin market cap. And incidentally, the app I'm using here is Brave, which is a browser that blocks a lot of tracking and also ads. So back in uh, end of May, if you recall, Bitcoin was a lot lower. It was trading in the 30s, 30 thousands. And at the time we wrote an article called a hedged bet on the Bitcoin bottom. And in that article, well here we mentioned Carter Worth's prediction that Bitcoin might have been headed for 20,000. So, but our system at the time picked up another Bitcoin name, which was Marathon Digital Holdings, a Bitcoin miner. And for those of you unfamiliar, every day the market's open, our system tracks stocks and ETFs based on stock market and options market sentiment, and then it ranks the ones it estimates will have the highest potential returns over the next six months. And Marathon Digital, you can see, was number three on that ranking back at the end of May, and it had a share price of 24.77. So if you look at what it's closed at on Friday, it closed at 48.89. So Marathon Digital has more than doubled since it hit our top names for the first time at the end of May. And obviously this is due to the, uh, the performance of Bitcoin over that time frame. So Marathon Digital is, it's a way to bet on Bitcoin, but because Marathon Digital is hedgeable with options, it's a way to make a hedge bet on Bitcoin too. So what we can do here is if you think that Bitcoin is going to go on to make new highs, say over the next several months, you could consider buying Marathon Digital and hedging in, in case you're wrong. Now, Marathon was not one of our top 10 names on Friday, but it was number 17. So we're still bullish on it. But let's go ahead and look at how you can hedge it to limit your downside risk in the event that we're wrong about it over the next several months. So we'll go ahead and open up the portfolio on our iPhone app and we'll type in the symbol for Marathon Digital, which is just Mara. And then we'll type in a number of shares and you can type in whichever number of shares you own. Here we'll use a thousand for this example. And then threshold is just a measure of the risk you're willing to take. So if you've owned Marathon for the last few months and you're up 100%, maybe you have a fairly strong risk tolerance. For this example, we'll assume you're willing to risk a decline of 25%, but not one more than that. And then for time to expiration, We'll start out using our default time to expiration, which goes out approximately six months. And next we tap find optimal hedge. So we get a message here that no optimal put is available. It's too expensive. In other words, it costs more than 25% of your position value to hedge against a greater than 25% decline in Marathon Digital over roughly the next six months. One thing we can do here is look for a shorter time frame. So let's go out to January 21st instead. And again, we tap find optimal hedge. And here we're presented with an optimal hedge to protect against a greater than 25% decline in Marathon Digital by January 21st. And the cost here is $9,050 or 18.51% of position value. So it's still kind of expensive. That cost is calculated conservatively using the ask price of the puts. 
you can often buy and sell options at some price between the bid and ask. So you'd probably pay a little less than this, but it would still be expensive. So the next thing we can do to lower cost is indicate that we're willing to cap our possible upside. So we can start out trying 50% as a cap and see what happens. And we do that and we're presented with an optimal collar to protect against the same greater than 25% decline by late January while not capping our possible upside at less than 50% over that time frame. And as you see here, our net cost gets knocked down to $50. Now, if you're willing to lower your upside cap a little bit more, in this case, I know because I've done this a few minutes ago, 43% would do the trick. What you'll see is this turns the net cost negative. So now you're presented with an optimal collar where the net cost is negative $1,050. What that means is you would collect a net credit of $1,050 when opening this hedge, assuming to be conservative that you placed both trades at the worst ends of their respective spreads. That is buying the puts at the ask and selling the calls at the bid. If you place both trades within the spread, you would have collected more than 1,050 on Friday when opening a hedge. So this is something to consider if you're bullish on Bitcoin, but you're worried about it pulling back. Marathon Digital is a Bitcoin miner. It's the Bitcoin related stock that we're most bullish on now. And here's a way you can be long and have a shot at another actually about 45% upside because 43% is a cap here, but your net cost is negative 2.15%. So if you add that net credit to the upside cap, it comes out about 45%. So best case scenario, you're up about, you're up about 45% by late January. In worst case scenario, you're not down more than 25%. Again, something to consider if you're bullish on Bitcoin at this point.